Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I just thought I would jump on to tell you guys to remember to do your own research. And why is that important today? I guess it's because I watched a couple of YouTube videos here recently uh, discussing DeFi and discussing these projects that I'm also interested in. And when it comes to projects that I know a great deal about, I noticed that uh, intentionally or unintentionally, which I tend to believe unintentionally, these YouTube creators uh, are spreading misinformation about these projects. We're talking both about, uh, not gonna mention any names, let's just say that, uh, but bigger guys, smaller guys, people that call out scams, even the people that call out scams, they get their facts wrong. When it comes to these particular projects that I know a great deal about, okay, because these are the only ones that I can confirm that they got their facts wrong. But if they get the facts wrong, um, in these projects then they also probably most likely get the facts wrong in projects that I have no clue about projects that I'm researching projects that I'm coming on to YouTube to find out about all right and that is a pro that is a problem for me and that is a problem for everybody that if people that create these videos are doing it uh, with the wrong intentions just to create content just to I don't know, farm affiliate links or so forth. At least give us the facts straight, you know. Um, things get misscrewed, mis how do you say that? Very quickly, right? And I can only imagine, like for instance, I saw this video about uh, Belco. Uh, apparently one guy stole $400,000 from Belco. So this amount, $400,000, where did that come from? Well, my, what I think, is that it comes from Phil, who is the operator of Bilko there, is trying to start up an arbitrage model again, where uh, he said that he can allow people to invest up to $400,000, you know, and then he would uh, pay them back after three months, and during those three months, he would pay three to 4% every month. So he's gonna do this uh, arbitrage model, which we knew as the sacrifice model back in the day for Pro 79. But that doesn't mean that anybody stole $400,000. To my knowledge, the amount that was taken from Belco could be a lot greater. This $400,000 is meant to actually keep things running there, all right? So he's gonna pay you 3% per month, but he's probably making 10% per month. So the rest, he's paying his workers, you know, to keep digging, to keep things moving along there, right? This is the plan. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. But it's important, even, in these types of instances when it's just like haha you know pointing fingers at everybody that you still get the facts straight because there might be somebody out there that actually want to invest into this and it's important that they kind of know what it's about now we're just scaring people away which is probably a good idea in DeFi right let's be honest it's a jungle here and very very I'm very disappointed in the space you know it's full of either people that don't know how to run a business or people that are just scamming people and have ill intentions from the start, right? But don't trust anything, all right? What I would recommend, how do you do your own research, you could ask. You come on to the Discord, you try to talk with people that are involved and stay away from the people that are just positive about everything. Stay away from the people that are just negative about everything. Try to figure out the middle way there, what is up and down here, and then based on your experience, you know, and hopefully, let, let's just say that first, uh, you get to talk also to the team, to the founders, to the people that you are investing in, because at the end of the day, you're investing into people, not investing into to a project, you know, there are people behind the project that are meant to make these things run. Um, but then you take all this information that you gather and you, you put it together, right? Uh, and measure it up against your experience and what you have seen in the past uh, from every aspect of your life. Does this guy sound legit? Uh, is this a feasible plan that they have? What do we need to do to make this happen, right? And is it achievable? And only you can know that. Now, if you're just blindly following a guy that is just rambling on YouTube, like myself, or somebody else 
you're bound to fail and you will come back and you will say oh this guy's a scammer or he put me on to this shit and i got one guy in the comment section i was like you back to another scam well guess what my intentions were good you know what, what are you doing in your life right you can ask yourself this do your own research man don't come around here you know like i'm not forcing anything on anybody it's just as these other guys they don't force anything on anybody you can choose to watch these videos you can choose to blindly and they will be stupid of you to just follow any of us right why you know you don't know at the end of the day how much money i actually put into these things or how much money they actually put into these things and for many of these creators you don't know how much they're paid to actually put these things in front of you i watch these videos there's no thing written there that they're getting paid right but if you go to their website they have a price list like this is how much an ama costs this is how much this costs so they're getting paid without letting you know right so guys you know don't follow anybody do your own research do your own due diligence when it comes to these things so guys the comment sections are open maybe you want to let me know if you been hurt by following somebody blindly i know we all have let me know if somebody have been hurt by following me blindly right into any of these things remember when i was making videos about pizza tower it was a great deal of fun you know i didn't put an a how's it called a, a philly link there because i know it's uh, this is what destroys these projects right uh, don't invest with money you cannot afford to lose and guys don't follow anybody into any of these things right really go on twitter read everything and you will soon if you spend enough time in this space that i you know i consider myself kind of a a veteran at this point in this space um so i can tell what's up and down and i know that when people are just you know what the funniest thing? When you go to these discords and you see the guys with the biggest role of them all, and this is the guy who is overly positive about everything, right? Even when shits are about to hit the fan, you, you know that it's, it's not going well. This guy is overly positive, you know? And you think, ah, oh, this guy, he has a lot of money. He messes so much money. This guys, some people, they take loans. Some people, they you don't know how they got into the position they're in, you know? Maybe they got lucky in Pepecoin and they just invested a lot of stuff into uh, any certain uh, any particular project there so be careful you know not everybody is you know what i learned really in this space is everybody's out for their own self right it's every man for themselves somehow you know and my videos i hope that you found some enjoyment in them uh, and that my intentions shine, shine through to the fact that I'm actually just trying to share what I know and what I'm happy about and then yeah I have made some videos about projects uh, people that paid me like $100 make this video like why shouldn't I take $100 to put this in front of you and then you make your own decision do you want to jump into this or not right but it's, it's written in the video I took money to make the video so you know this is another factor that you have to take into consideration before you invest all right guys i took too much of your time hope you have a nice uh, rest of your day rest of the week and uh, yeah see you in the next one bye bye